So guys, in this video, we will see the linearity property of Z transform. Here you can see this is a statement given over here. If x of n is a signal, okay. So Z transform of that is given as x of Z, capital X. This is small x. Then y of n, the same thing. Um, and y of n, another signal, Z transform. Okay, this is Z transform will be y of Z. This is x of n, this is y of n. Then what happens between these two? For linearity uh, property, you have to remember this. a into x of n, the signal I am taking, multiplying with a constant a, plus b into y of n. The z transform of this will be a x of z plus b y of z. So this is the result of linearity property. So we need to prove, so we have to take the LHS part, we have to do the z transform of that, we have to get the RHS side okay so let us start with the lhs part so as we know the definition of z transform of a signal x of n okay z transform of a signal x of n is given as what x of z and it is equal to by the definition it is summation of n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z power minus n okay z raised to the power minus n so this is the definition of basic x of n now what we have to do we have to find the z transform of this whole thing so z transform of a x of n plus b y of n will be equal to what so in place of x of n you can see here x of n we here it is also x of n so in place of x of n i have to put a into x of n plus b into y of n so this will become summation n my equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n it will become what a into x of n plus b into y of n correct into what will happen the whole thing into z power minus n in place of x of n you have to put this next you can multiply this one Correct. Expand the bracket. This will become summation of n equal to minus infinity to infinity a x of n into z power minus n plus b y of n into z power minus n. Okay. Now thing is that I can take summation to both of this of these two terms. Okay. Bracket you have to put. Okay. Summation I can to take it to this term as well as summation to the this term. So what will happen? Which is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity a x of n into z power minus n plus summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity b y of n z power minus n we have taken summation to both the terms now here you can observe a we can take it outside since it is a constant term so i can take it outside so that will become a summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n plus b also i can take it outside so summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n into z power minus n the question here is that can i write this term and this term as this term as x of z capital x of z since you can see over here capital x of z the state uh, the definition says that summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n okay so like that it's the same as this this term is here and here only the difference is y of n is there so for y of n signal i can write it as y of z not x of z it, it has to be y of z so this will be y of z and this will be x of z the same as this compare it with this okay this is the standard formula for x of z if the signal is x of n z transform of x of n will give me this formula so like that this will be x of z this will be y of z and uh, one more term is there that is a is there and b is there so finally what i can write so z transform of a into x of n plus b into y of n is equal to what a into x of z plus b into y of z okay so this is the linearity property of z transform